Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On the last adventure, we met our mystery critter named Willis who's sitting in a very dark underground room with his mom and the rest of their clan. There had been a cave-in somewhere in the tunnels where they live, and the mayor has asked that everyone meet and be counted in order to make sure no one is missing or hurt. And uh, you better have make sure that you've already listened to part one, because there's some very important clues that will help you solve who is Willis. The mayor's assistants had barely started counting when Willis became, you know what, bored. Thankfully, he spotted a couple of young joeys building with blocks in the corner. Hey, Willis, you come and play with us? One of them called. When he trotted over to join them, he was horrified at what he saw. Uh, guys... What is it? They said in unison as they looked up at him with their cute little baby faces. Willis struggled to figure out how he was going to break the news to them without being mean. Um, here it goes, he said to himself. (sighs) Okay, so since this is probably your first time out of the pouch, there are some important things uh, you don't know yet. One of the things is that our poop is shaped like square cubes. Willis smiled awkwardly as he waited for the Joeys to realize what he was saying. It didn't take long for their eyes to get big and their noses to wrinkle up in disgust. Oh, uh, what? You mean to tell us we've been playing not with blocks, but with poop? Ah! Yes, uh, Critter Protectors. <laughs> You heard that right. The animals in today's story have poop that shaped like cubes. Uh, very, very strange. Have you ever had cubes in your toilet? I never have. Well, <laughs> scientists have not been able to figure out why or how this is possible. Can you believe that? Willis could not stop laughing as he watched his little friends scramble around in a panic. Soon, they were all rolling around on the floor, giggling. I can't wait to tell my mom about this, said the smallest. Just then, the mayor silenced the crowd from the front. My assistants have been able to determine that there are 145 of us in this room. Unfortunately, that means that someone is missing. What? What? Everyone started to panic. We need to figure out who is gone and send a search party to look for them. Everyone in the room began whispering and glancing around, trying to figure out who was missing. Suddenly, a young voice spoke up from the back of the room. It was one of the Joeys Willis had been playing with. (gasps) Uncle Waldo! Where's Uncle Waldo? No one had an answer. After a brief silence, the mayor started assembling a search party while his assistants started handing out grass for lunch. In the middle of all the commotion, Willis remembered something. Hey, 
Maybe Waldo is that old guy who naps in the far corner of the practice room sometimes. <gasps> hmm, I didn't notice him today, but I wasn't really looking closely because I was so focused on my training. Moving very slowly, Willis slipped through the crowd and climbed out of the keep. He scurried past the food storage rooms, the playroom, and his burrow. Finally, he took a left at the squiggly path and popped his head into the practice room. Sure enough, tucked away in the far corner was a big ball of fur, snoring softly. Willis approached carefully and cleared his throat. <coughs> Excuse me? There was no response. Hello? Nap time's over! This time, that seemed to work. The sleeping bundle stretched out, mm, rolled over and rubbed his eyes. Oh, well now, who is disturbing my beauty sleep? Willis approached and introduced himself. Um, hi, hi there, my name's Willis. And I was wondering if you happen to be Uncle Waldo? Uncle Waldo? <sighs> of course I'm Uncle Waldo. Willis smiled and oh, exhaled a big sigh of relief. Ah, oh, it's nice to meet you, sir. Sorry to disturb you, but there has been a cave-in and no one could find you. We were worried you might be trapped <gasps> or hurt. Uncle Waldo thanked Willis for waking him and the pair headed back to the keep. They arrived just as the search party was heading out. Everyone was so surprised and happy that Uncle Waldo had been found safely. From that day forward, no one made fun of Willis for wanting to practice digging. In fact, the other youngsters started visiting the practice room too. They all had fun learning to build tunnels together looked forward to the day when they would get to join the construction team with the other grown-ups. Wow, I'm so glad that Uncle Waldo is okay. Have you been able to figure out who our mystery critter is? Let's think. Hmm. Willis is furry, brown, and has claws that help him dig. Do you remember what country he lives in? Oh yes, Australia. He lives underground and spent the first few months of his life in his mother's pouch. Wow, get your guesses in now! I'm guessing a koala! Yeah, koalas live in Australia. Koalas have pouches and koalas don't live underground. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's not right. Um, no. Koalas are marsupials in Australia, but they definitely don't dig around underground in tunnels. What's something that could be like a koala, but did you say a wombat? <gasps> Wait a second. Yeah, you're right. Willis and his whole family are a family of wombats. <laughs> oh, you know, those furry creatures that poop square cubes. <laughs> wow, great job, critter protectors. Yes. Wombats are our mystery critter today. That may be the end of our story, but only just the beginning of some amazing adventures that lie ahead for Willis and his family. The end. It's time for some critter protector shout outs. I want to say hello to Theodore and Henry from Colorado, Liam and Ben from New Hampshire. Mitch from New Zealand and Claire from Washington. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyard without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda. We believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. 
Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.